by the dumbest. Uh, where's my destination here? Nope, that's not it. That's it. Nope. Right there. Aim higher. This is very strange. Oh, crap. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, success. Look at that. we done yet. <sighs> nice. Real nice. Alright, so what don't we want to do? We don't want to fall off of this thing and not get on that ledge thing. The slide, whatever. Yeah, I'm slide. Right. Are we done yet? What the hell? I can't see myself. Nice. What is this? Why does this always happen? Like, I can't see what I'm doing. What the hell? I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Who made this game? Jesus. Okay, let's just see what I'm supposed to do. I have to go straight up there. Straight up. Alright, then shoosh. Then right up, right? Yes, of course. This game. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, okay. And I'm not gonna get any faster at this either. It's like I have no choice but to go back. Alright, let's just go back here. Like I said, go back here. 
Alright, let's try this again. Boom! Are you kidding me? We have to go all the way up to the top, guys. All the way to the top. Alright, so let's try this again. Right to the top. Booyakasha! Please let that be the last time. Please! Let's just pick this one, I guess. Yo, what's up? so bad at all. Alright, let's go guys. We're nearing the end of this chapter. We have to be. And of course the angle gets all weird. Just to throw you off. But we're pros at this game. That doesn't bother us. I had a role in my family's demise. I did not start the fire. Centaurs don't live in Oxford, but a certain doctor did. I saw him, a preening undergraduate. Now I remember him. That key belongs to Lizzie's room. So this all started before the doctor even got his license. Something that he had in him from the start. Those of you who aren't really familiar with the Alice in Wonderland storyline, the story was actually made by um, a friend of Alice, the real Alice Little. Um, he made the story for her, 
during her childhood, I believe it was, just so that she could have. He lived a long life, and as the poet says, like a clock worn out with eating time, the wheels. Just so that she could have a bedtime story, he made it. And then he realized how attractive the idea was, and he sold that story to make the Wonder Alice in Wonderland adventures that we know about today. Um, I believe this game was some sort of twist to that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're trying to imply that the person who made the story for the real Alice Little had done something to her. I don't know if that's what they were implying, and I, I won't say much about it because I want to incriminate some guy, you know, <laughs> right? But I wonder why they decided to twist the storyline this way, you know. It's an interesting twist, but um, it's quite an unexpected twist. If you're just getting into this game just to, you know, just to play it and see what this new idea about Alice is, you know. It's just like with all the Batman series, how they all have taken a darker turn from their typical light-hearted, um, their light-hearted, light-hearted environments. I don't understand what I mean. What was I saying? Um, yeah, how the Batman series, Superman, all of them taking some sort of darker turn. Like when I say when I say darker, what I mean is like the superhero doesn't necessarily um, always abide by the supernatural moral code. If you understand what I mean, they seem more human-like. Right? They experience anger, they experience revenge, um, any form of sadness, you know. Um, tying that back into what I was talking about with Alice Return. Tying that back into what I said about Alice and Madness Returns. Um, it's an interesting twist, right? They didn't really have to make it that dark, you know. But they did. And by doing so, I wonder how it affected the original Alice um, the Madness Return. I mean, the original Alice Matt Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland, sorry. My brain just kind of went on a walk right there. How does that affect the original storyline and its creators and, you know, main antagonists or protagonists? I think it's protagonists. Who's this? I think we all should know who this is. The doll maker. I'm not the most wretched and selfish of fortune's fools. Oblivious, I live in a training ground for prostitutes. My mentor is an abuser and purveyor. I've been complicit with my sister's murderer and the killer of my family as he corrupted my mind. I sought relief from my pain, and you turned me away from the truth. You are almost there. Almost free from what you fear. You could have been cured. You could have forgotten. Abandon the memory of my family. They are dead, and you should be too. You misbegotten abomination. Murderer, you blood-sucking parasite. The damage you've done to children. The abuse. 
I provide a service. In the great and awful metropolis, appetites of all sorts must be gratified. My family, my mind, the infernal train! The train is your invention, your defense. I merely set its schedule and itinerary. The train is coming with its shiny cars, with comfy seats, wheels of stars. So hush, my little ones, have no fear. The man in the moon is the engine here. I'll stop that train, if it's the last thing I do. As you wish. And where your body is, your mind will follow. Perhaps it's already there. 